What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. So today, this week, we're back with another subscriber store review video. As per the usual format, I'm gonna be reviewing three different Shopify dropshipping stores with a primary focus on their product pages. Product pages, in my opinion, on a Shopify store are probably the most important page. Think of them as like a first impression with your customer. It's the first page that loads, the first page that they see, so everything has to be on point. Otherwise, you risk losing that customer if you give off a bad impression and you could potentially lose them forever. So in this video, we have three different niche stores to look at. We have a base baby store, a general store, and a homeware store. If you wanna have a chance to get your store featured in the next week's episode, make sure you follow me on Instagram or join my free Facebook group. There's links to both of them in the video description below. And then look out for the post once a week, send me your link, and then I usually take the top three. Before we jump into the first store, I just wanna take a quick note to say it's really important that you get feedback on your Shopify store, more so if you're a beginner. One of the biggest challenges you will have as a new business trying to advertise your product online, especially on platforms like Facebook, Facebook is trust from your customers. Unfortunately for us dropshippers, there's a lot of people out there that don't run their businesses ethically or professionally and end up scamming their customers or not delivering on what they've promised. And slowly what this has done is led the consumer to be naturally hesitant and naturally vigilant when they come to shopping with a particular business on the internet. So it's really important that your store looks absolutely perfect and you have all the necessary and kind of expected information that a customer would want to see, such as contact information and just overall general professionalism and with that being said guys thanks for tuning into the video i hope you enjoy it more importantly i hope you actually learn something new see a particular improvement that you could apply to your own store which ultimately leads to you being more successful. Thanks again, and let's jump straight into store number one. So store number one is honeybabyware.com. The first thing that sticks out to me is they don't have a favicon installed. It's a super easy step. Just simply make your logo with a transparent background, upload it in your theme editor, and then you'll be good to go. The next thing that kind of sticks out to me is they have an announcement bar at the top, which is all fine, but it's not the same color background as the logo. If it was me, I would get the hex color for this background in your logo and then apply it to the announcement bar at the top. In the announcement bar at the top, we can see that advertising free UK shipping on all orders if they use code free at checkout. However, I've inspected their shipping policy and we can see that UK standard delivery cost is 395 and it's only free over 50 pounds. So this kind of contradicts each other. Any customer that comes across this conflicting information, that would be enough to put them off and for them to never come back again. If we also take a look at their FAQ, they can see their delivery times are two to four weeks. So it's good that they've got them on there and that they're being honest, but you need to try and find supplies which can get your products to your suppliers faster than this. User agents like CJ Dropshipping can typically ship to the UK in seven to 10 days, so less than two weeks. Or there's more established suppliers on AliExpress, which have AliExpress 10 day shipping, which is essentially exactly what it says it is, um, and shipping to the UK to your customer's doorstep in 10 days. Just going back to the menu for a quick second. If it was me, I would remove the About Us page to the footer only. Personally, on my own stores, I don't find many people actually take a look at the About Us page. What people are most interested in, sorry, that would be the same same case for the FAQ page too. What pe most people are interested in is your homepage, your product collections, contact information and a track your order page if you can put that up there as well. If Let's take a look at their product page for a second then. Like I mentioned in the intro, the most important page to any Shopify store in my opinion, or at least it's definitely in the top three. Initially, the product images are different sizes. So as you can see, as you flick across, particularly on a mobile device, this will be quite annoying. And in my opinion, a bit unprofessional. So if you can crop these down to make sure they're all the same size. Next is the actual name of the products. They've simply just called it exactly what it is. One of them are really big fan on it fan off sorry is actually trying to own the product as a brand and having this as a unique name so instead of pretty much using keywords like you would trying to list it on eBay you don't need to do this on Shopify because it's your own website you're not competing against anybody else when somebody's on your site they're only going to see your products so name it something specific to you and your brand and then that way if they try and copy and paste the name into eBay or into Amazon they'll have a much more difficult time finding the exact same product the ad cart burn is the outline shape with a white background. I'm a really big fan of making this a solid color just so it pops a bit more on the product page. What you'll find is actually psychologically, believe it or not, people do actually click it more if it sticks out more on the page. So definitely a change I would recommend. I would also remove the buy with Google Pay button. If you edit your payment options within the settings of your Shopify backend, by default, unfortunately, it ticks the Google Pay option. I would remove this altogether and just stick to Apple Pay and PayPal. On my own stores, these are by far the most popular payment methods. Next up, we have the product description. So we can see it's quite short. There's not really a lot of information 
there's not really many images about this either um, in my opinion there's not enough information or convincing or persuasion here to persuade a customer into hitting that add to cart button and making a purchase there's also no reviews too so no social proof whatsoever for a customer to come on the store and really want this product they would have to take a punt on it so i've had a good look around the store now had a look at a few different products and it seems to be the case with every single product so to summarize this store they've made a really good start the framework is there it just needs building out to be a bit more substantial a bit more information a bit more social proof so before you move on to that next steps of actually spending money on advertising take the time to focus on two to three products that you want to advertise and be the center of your marketing campaigns build the product pages out with gifts original imagery and most importantly reviews if you need a tutorial on the best product page kind of template to use make sure you check out my videos from last week I did a video specifically on this topic okay so moving on to store number two we have practical and perfect.com they have a really nice fabric on installed at the top which is brilliant absolutely spot on the next thing is this is the first page I loaded up went straight to a product page and these are all the different pop-ups that I got hit with now if it's different on a mobile device that's absolutely fine obviously I'm looking at this on a desktop and most of your customers if you're using Facebook will come from a mobile device just speaking freely from what I see in front of me though um, this spin to win it can work for some it cannot work for others personally I'm not a big fan of this what I would do is split test this for two weeks on two weeks off and then convert compare sorry the conversion rates on your Shopify store if you find it's helping you bring people back onto your store to make a purchase keep it if it's not that if that's not the case sorry then remove it next up we have this chat pop-up which is good I'm a big fan of having these messenger um, kind of hovering buttons on your site so people can get into contact super quickly and it shows that you're there available to help your customers with any questions or queries the thing the couple of things I have an issue with on this is it says chat with Omega team one there's kind of no reference to what this is um, which could be confusing for a customer the other issue too is the image here of pumpkins again I'm not quite sure whether this is old from Halloween or not or what it might be but in my opinion this needs to be your favicon or your logo so focusing straight on the product pages we can see straight away buy with PayPal PayPal is much more popular in the UK than Google Pay is it's so much more trusted um, I usually find anywhere between sort of 50 and 60 percent sometimes more in fact if people use PayPal on my stores so advertising the fact you do that because not everybody will know that can sometimes be that extra thing to kind of tip a customer over the edge I really like the overall look and feel and theme of this particular site first thing that came to mind would be I would remove this available now and change it to something a bit more direct a bit more kind of relevant to the customer so it could be in stock today or it could be free shipping on this item just available now doesn't really do anything to help the customer kind of tip them over to the edge into making a purchase so I wanted to talk about this particular product image here it looks to me like something I've seen on AliExpress before that's been imported across I think images like this should be taken off your site and done in a more original way so better yet if you have a dog yourself order one of these products and take the images yourself you can invest in some pretty decent kind of lighting setup units for about 40 pounds expensive but definitely worth it in my opinion for an image like this it doesn't really look like the product is being used by that dog it looks photoshopped on and then you have pop dash pet um, in the top left here which doesn't really make sense I'm not really sure what that means whether it's referring to the material and then you've got like an icon of a dog here so there's no real relevance to this image or it doesn't really tie in with the rest of the store very much so in my opinion it could put a customer off and lead them to leaving your store now whilst this may not be the product page or the product itself that this particular person is advertising the same kind of fundamentals and same points I just made apply to the product that you are advertising I really like this section of the store here with these little icons little touches like this will separate your store from the competition so a really nice touch there and then rather than just have a kind of running product description they have different tabs which again just helps separate your store from any other Shopify store and makes it look much more professional and in my opinion just a really nice touch so the product description and overall on the surface looks really nice it's kind of like an overview um, one thing I would do to kind of improve this is to highlight the positive points about the product in bold because there is quite a bit of text on this page personally I would also try and find a gif of an actual dog moving 
that is kind of in one space and then moves to another space to actually lie on your mat because then it actually shows a desire and interest from the actual dog, your end consumer basically into actually using the product. Then at the bottom of the product page, we can see they have their trust badge. This works really, really well and the colors fit in nicely with the rest of their site. One thing I would do to kind of perhaps build on this and improve it is if we take a look at this site here and just scroll to the bottom, uh, something like this. So why buy from us our five out of five promise to you? If you can make those five promises to your customer that will really help them kind of shift into trusting you and the more somebody trusts you then the more likely they are to make a purchase at the bottom they have what looks like looks reviews which is really really good just make sure you proofread your reviews and make sure there's no broken English or foreign languages if you're advertising to an English country then things like that can sometimes put customers off. To summarize this store then, overall, it's a really, really nice looking store. Um, a couple of points in which I pointed out in this video, but ultimately I think the success is going to come down to the individual product. So as long as you can find a product that's in demand and suitable for Facebook ads, then I think you've got a lot of potential. Third and final store is homelyfutures.com. I really like the name of this site because they go two and two really well together. They have a track your order page, which we can see is in the menu at the top, which is perfect, spot on. Anybody who comes onto this store can see that this business is active and they professionally ship out their orders so their customers can track them. They have a bog standard contact us page with the contact form supplied by Shopify. If it was me and you can afford to do it, I'd build this out with perhaps a physical address with some form of a virtual address or and or a telephone number as well. I've just gone to their best sellers collection page and it's currently saying, sorry, there are no products in this collection. If I go to the kitchen collection, it's the same issue and the same thing for garden. The same thing for living room. And then there's actually three products in the lighting niche. Anybody who comes onto this site though and tries to go to one of those collections to be told there's no products in that collection, it could put the customer off and it could ultimately lead to them leaving and not coming back. So let's take a look at the most important page, which is their product page. Initial impressions is everything looks pretty good um, on the overview. I really like the custom font. They've not just gone with a default font. The yellow I'm in two minds about, to be honest, but in a way I kind of like it. One thing I definitely would change is the actual add to cart button, especially because they have have the PayPal dynamic checkout button. Sorry, can't talk. Um, it kind of almost hides the add to cart button. So what I would do here is perhaps make that a solid black potentially or a solid yellow. I'm not very good at design. I'll play around with colors and see which one fits in nicely to the page. I'm not a big fan of this countdown. The fonts are different, the colors are different. And in my opinion, it just looks a bit too spammy for this type of store. This store looks way too professional to be using a spammy kind of countdown timer like this. This section here is potentially a bit OTT with the trust badges. To have them at the top isn't really recommended either. Nowadays, I would recommend having them at the bottom. When somebody comes onto your site, they're not necessarily Really convinced on buying the products just yet that's what your product description does and then at the bottom you hit them with the trust badges to let them know that you're a trustworthy business product description itself step up your cooking game um, I would probably change this to step up your prepping game because this isn't necessarily about cooking it's more about prep or the most important thing or at least in my opinion for a product like this is the speed of prep so it could be a quote from a customer of my prepping time reduced to 10% or my prepping time reduced by one hour every single day, something like that with kind of like a significant and measurable benefit um, in, for your customer. They have some really nice images, which we can see that they've branded with their own name, which is good. And then they have a GIF here at the bottom. So if it was me, I would have this at the top of the page, moving images, GIFs, i.e. GIFs, um, capture people's attention much more than actual individual images. So having this at the top will capture your customer's attention and therefore they'll be much more likely to stay on your store. Moving down, we can see they have the benefits kind of highlighted in bold, which is a nice touch. I'm no expert when it comes to product description, so I'm not gonna comment on that individually. I like to use an app called Gary AI. Um, if you want a demonstration, a real live demonstration of how to use it, make sure you check out my latest video on product page templates. Finish off the product page, then we can see they have delivery and shipping. All items are shipped via Tract Express EMS service, which is fine. Delivery can sometimes take up to two weeks, which is also fine. As I mentioned, in the previous site, I would potentially build on this one step further and have a five out of five or four out of four promise that you can guarantee to your customers. If you kind of reach out and make that promise to your customers, it shows a sign of trust in your customer and hopefully they'll return that favor in making a purchase. Just flicking through their reviews, five star, 41 reviews, which is okay. I'm not necessarily a massive fan of having all five star reviews. They don't actually, they have one star one there, which is fine. They also have this review here, which is in different language. I would remove 
remove this if this was my store personally. So to summarize this store, overall a really nice looking design of store. Um, the fonts they've used, the layouts, the product descriptions, the images, so on and so forth. There's a couple of little teething things there in which I mentioned in terms of the placement of the GIF, the reviews, um, and those other little things in which I mentioned in the video. I think there's a lot of potential here, but again, ultimately, this is a similar case to the previous store. Everything ultimately is gonna come down to the individual product. So if you can find a product that's in demand and suitable for the platform you're going to advertise it on, then I definitely believe there's a lot of potential for this store. Uh, with that being said then, guys, um, I'm going to wrap the video up there. Big thanks for watching the video all the way through if you're still with me. Big thanks to the guys who sent in the store links as well for review. It's not an easy thing to do to be featured um, on kind of like a public social media platform. So thank you for doing that. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. More importantly, I hope you learned something new. I hope there's something that you saw in this video you can take away, which will help you be more successful. One final quick message before you go. If you are looking for a program to take you step by step from beginning to end, make sure you check out my Ecom Academy. There will be a video link in the description down below. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.